All right, guys. Well, here we are. Another episode of car magic, I guess you can call it. But this is a 98 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, and we are installing a double DIN stereo into the one and a half port stereo into this thing. And I've never seen a video on it. So we're installing a Pioneer. It is a, I forgot the model. It's a, there it is right there. AVH X2800 BS. So we're putting this. This came out of an older car um, that we had the stereo in. So we're going to put it in this one because this is our off road vehicle. So there's some things that we got to do in order to make this happen. The stereo that was in it, we had already put a new stereo in it before. It's a different Pioneer. And here's what's coming out of it. So it's a DIN and a half, and we're going to a double DIN. And the double DIN requires a lot of modification in this thing. But we did find kind of a kit that you can buy, which is the, the center console piece, which allows us to put this thing in with the side brackets. But you still have to do some cutting and modifications to this thing. So when you're looking in here, you can see what we've already cut out. So we've already got this removed, all the stuff removed. The whole dash, the whole top trim plate, all came out already. So I'm pretty sure you already know how to do all that. But when we're doing this, so you have to cut these things and you have to cut them back. And you can see what we've cut it out in here. There's no duct work or nothing in the way. It's just, there, that's a better view. It's just cutting the plastic out to get it in there. You also have to do a few other things with this and being a switch show you, you have to remove these clips and install them in the new uh, center console cover so there's four of them there's one there there's one down here one on this side and one on this side so that all has to come out and get installed also your I guess you'd call them diffusers or whatever you call them, but these things have to come out. Be very careful taking them out. Um, they will break, or they can break. I almost broke one in the back. They do pop in and out, so it may or may not break depending on how old you have, how old your your Jeep is. And then they just pop right in. So we're gonna get this going. I'll show you a video, or I'll continue this in a little while, and uh, I'm gonna cut out for now and and go to the next stage and go from there. So I'll talk to you in a little while.